Hello Year 4s and welcome to Day 1 of your English. Today we're going to be looking at using conjunctions to add information to your writing. Let's start by reminding ourselves about clauses. Clauses are groups of words with an active verb and a subject. The subject is the doer of the verb. It can be a noun or a pronoun. Sinbad, that's the subject, kept watch. What did he do? What was he doing? Because it's active, he kept watch. So Sinbad's the subject and the active verb is kept. Sinbad is the subject and the active verb is kept watch. He looked all around. Then he spotted the island in the distance. He shouted loudly, excited to see it. Just a reminder, the subject is the doer of the verb. It can be a noun or a pronoun. A noun as in Sinbad and a pronoun and is he. Now let's look at some conjunctions. Conjunctions join clauses. Here are some conjunctions down the side. As, because, so. Before, after, when, since, until, as, while. Wherever, where. Clauses. Here are some clauses on this side. Sinbad kept watch. He spotted the island. He shouted loudly. He had adventures. Now we're going to look at taking those clauses, adding a conjunction and expanding the sentence. Remember, a clause always has an active verb. Kept, spotted, shouted, had. Simbad kept watch because they needed food. Why else do you think he might have kept watch? Have you got your own ideas? Say them to the screen now. Brilliant, well done. He shouted loudly when he spotted the island. When else do you think he could shout loudly? Can you say it to the screen now? Excellent. Wherever he went, he had adventures. What else did he do wherever he went? Can you say that to the screen now? Brilliant, well done everyone. Conjunctions help us express time, place and cause. Simbad kept watch. When did he keep watch? What is the time relating to when? While the other men worked. Simbad kept watch. When? After they had travelled for days. Simbad kept watch when? When he was hoping for land. Spot the active verb in each clause. Excellent, well done, it's kept. Try adding your own clauses to express time. Simbad kept watch while... Great idea. Simbad kept watch after... Well done. And finally, fill in the last one in out loud. Simbad kept watch when? Brilliant, well done, great ideas. Conjunctions can help us express time, place and cause. Now we're going to look at place. He spotted the island where? Where he had been looking. He spotted the island where? Where the sky met the sea. He spotted the island where the birds had flown from. Can you give me some of your own ideas? He spotted the island where? Great. He spotted the island where? Amazing. And one last time, see if you can come up with someone new that he spotted the island. He spotted the island where? Great work. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Top bananas, spiky pineapples. 
wherever, is the useful and more general statements. He has adventures wherever he goes. He finds new treasure wherever he lands. The bird followed wherever the ship sailed. Spot the active verb in each of those clauses. Can you say them out loud to the screen now? Good effort, well done. Try adding your own clauses to express place. Okay, now also conjunctions can help us to express cause. Why something happened. He shouted loudly. Why? Because he was excited. He shouted loudly. Why? Since he wanted everyone to hear. He shouted loudly. Why? As he hoped they would eat soon. Can you come up with your own ends to those? And speak them to the screen when I pause. He shouted loudly because. He shouted loudly since. He shouted loudly as. Some really great ideas there. Well done, everyone. Spot the active verb in each of those clauses. Brilliant. Now we've tried to add our own, which is great. Let's have a go at this one. A phrase. Now a phrase is where a group of words add meaning to a sentence. There is no active verb in a phrase. On the island. What's on the island? Who's on the island? Whereabouts on the island? Just on the island. That's a phrase on its own, but it must be added to something to make more sense. With a massive rock. In the sea. Because of the hunger. Can you think of your own beginnings to these? Who is on the island? Where on the island? Why are they on the island? Can you think of a beginning to all of those? And perhaps you could write them into your books. Now it's time to turn to your workbooks and go through the activities for today. Great work. We'll come back tomorrow for some more.